Hi, I'm Dee Dee Daniels. Cardiovascular exercise is an important part of fitness. It not only strengthens the heart, lungs, and vascular systems, it also helps to burn fat, strengthen bones, and it helps to boost your mood. Kickboxing in particular is a cardiovascular workout utilizing the upper body, lower body, and core in a unique way. So let's get leaner, stronger, healthier, and happier with some kickboxing. Our guest instructor today is Christine Fitzgerald. Christine has been teaching kickboxing for over 10 years and has been a fitness instructor in the South Bay since 2006. Thanks for being here, Christine. Thanks, Dee Dee. I'm really happy to be here. Today, I'm going to take us through some kickboxing basics. You will not need any equipment for this class, but make sure you have plenty of space around you to move and extend your arms and legs. Throughout the workout, I'll show some higher and lower intensity options, so remember to always go at your own pace. All right, let's get started. All right, let's get going with a little step in, touch to the right. Step, touch. Nice job. So you can take these steps as big or as small as you want to. It's completely up to you. Now, if you want to add in a little arms, you can, or you can keep your arms down by your side. Completely up to you. We're here for four more. Three. Two. Now we're going to make it two step touches to the right. So you're going to go two and back. Good. And again, the more ground you cover, the more efficient the workout's going to be. But if you want to take smaller steps, that's completely up to you. Great job. Out and in. One more time, back and forth. You're gonna continue with your double step touch, except I want you to bend your knees a little bit more. Almost like you're doing a squat in between. Now as you squat, make sure you draw your abdominals in and support your lower back. Great job, guys. Now let's bring those hands up to our boxing guard. Hands up, down and up. Great job. We're gonna call this our bob and weave. So hands up by our face to protect our face. Just pretend you are actually boxing with somebody. Down, up. Let's go. One more back and forth. Keep going with your bob and weave. We're going to add a jab, left hand on the end. Jab, now the right hand. Great job, guys. You're extending your arm out in front of you, leading with your top two knuckles. We're gonna change our jab, let's make it across. Cross, you come all the way across the body. And I want you to pivot and rotate on your back foot if you can. If you find the pivoting or the rotation's a little difficult, you can punch to the corners instead of the side of the room. All right, let's make it a step and hook now. A hook, great job. Your arms should be parallel to the ground as you hook. The hook's a circular punch, almost like you're giving someone a big old bear hug. Let's change the hook to an uppercut. Up. Great job. You're punching underneath the chin of your imaginary opponent. Two more. Now let's take it back to a step and tap. Step, tap. Shake out those arms a little bit. Ooh, are you warm, Dee Dee? Yes. Great job. Go ahead. Let's turn your step and tap so your right shoulder is facing to the front. Bring the hands back up to that boxing guard. And from here, we're going to go ahead, stop our feet, right hand jab, out and in. So it's out, in, out, and in. Great job. Now you can put a little rotation in with your shoulders, engaging your obliques, or you can make the rotation very small. Completely up to you. 
Now we're gonna make this a combo, two right jabs and two squats. Down up. Great job, right hand jab two times. Squat two times, bend the knees. Great job, your weight is gonna stay in the heels of your feet for the squat. Out, in, one more. Now we're gonna travel with this a little bit. I want you to jab, step forward. Good, squat, step back. Down, up, again, jab forward. Squat, step back. Now as you squat, make sure your knees stay in line with the middle of your foot. Again, jab, step forward. Great job, squat back. Make sure you're not letting your knees fall inward as you squat. Again, jab, out, in, squat back. Let's do this a couple more times, jab forward. Squat back, down and up. Core muscles are turned on. One more time, jab forward. Squat, step back. Great job, let's go to a step and tap, right side, step tap. Great job, guys. How'd that feel, Dee Dee? Great. Awesome job. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the left side now. So go ahead, turn your step and tap so the left shoulder's facing forward. All right, hands come back up to your boxing guard. Left hand jab, out and in. Out, in. Out, and in. Great job. Hands stay up by the face. Again, little rotation in the upper body. Make sure you keep your elbow in close. It comes right back to your rib cage. Two jabs here. Two squats. Bend your knees. Remember, weight stays in the heels of your feet. Again, two jabs. When you squat, almost like you were gonna sit down in a chair. Great job, two jabs again. Squat down. Now if you're finding that you're getting a little pain in your lower back, you can make your squat a little bit smaller. Two squats. All right, we're gonna travel again. Jab, step forward. Squat back, down and up. Jab, step forward. Squat back, bend your knees, get down nice and low in the squat. Jab, step forward again. Squat back, abdominals and keep your chest lifted. Jab forward. Squat back. Let's go back to our step and tap, right side, step tap. All right, so we're gonna shake out our arms, give those arms a little bit of a break. All right, we're heading into our second combination here. Good, stick with your step and tap. We're gonna change it to a step together. Step together, step together, good. And again, you can do whatever you want with your arms. They can stay down by your side. You're comfortable doing something like this. You can do this. Whatever feels good with you. We're gonna change our tap to a step. Knee, tap. Knee, tap. Great job. You bring your knee up as high as you feel comfortable. If you wanna keep your knee a little lower, or if this is a little bit too much, you can stick with your step and tap. That's always fine. Now we're gonna make this knee a front kick. Kick, tap. So if you're getting the hang of your balance or the hang of the movement, start off with your kick nice and low. Good, as you get more comfortable, feel free to add a little height to the kick. Now if you're adding the height, I want you to lean back a little bit, engage your core muscles, keep going. Kick. Now I want you to change the direction of the tap. You're gonna go ahead and make it a tap back. So you're going to face forward, kick forward, and tap back. Great job. Now your front kick, you're actually striking with the ball of your foot. We're going to add on a cross with your right hand. Cross. Kick. Cross. Great job. And remember, anytime you can take your kick a little lower, totally fine. 
This combination is great. It's working on your balance, hip flexibility. Let's go again. Kick cross. Great job. Up. Two more. We're gonna go step and tap to the left side. Step, tap. Step, tap. Ooh, heart rate's Ooh, up now. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, that one was fun. I love the kicking combos. All right, little step and tap. Great job. All right, guys, you guys ready to do the exact same thing on the other side? We're gonna make it a step and touch. Step together. Great job. Let the heart rate come down a little bit if you need to. And again, roll out those arms if you want, if you're feeling a little cramp. Two more. Now you're gonna change your tap to a knee and a tap. Knee, tap. Knee, tap. As you bring the knee up, I want you to use your lower abdominals to help you bring the knee up. Up. Two more. We're gonna change your knee back to a kick. Go ahead, kick, tap, kick, tap. Now remember, you always start off low with your kick. And once you get the hang of it and you feel comfortable with the kick, you can take it up a little higher or you can stay low with Didi, up to you. Keep going, kick and tap. Now I want you to change the direction of your tap. Instead of tapping into the side, you're gonna tap back. Great job, guys. Now if you find that we're moving a little bit too quick for you, you can always slow it down and go at your own pace. From here, we're gonna add on a cross with the left hand, cross. Kick, cross, up, cross. Good, abdominal muscles are turned on. That's gonna make sure you don't tip over when you kick. Great job, guys. Keep going with this. If you find your heart rate's getting a little elevated, you wanna take it back, you can always go back to a knee. Great job, everyone. Didi, how you doing? Good. Nice. Nice job, everybody. Step, tap to the right. Tap. Great job. Shake out the arms a little bit. Woo. Fun one, little yeah. cardio action going on. All right, guys. We're gonna head into our third combo here. Now I want you to change your step, tap to a step and heel. Step, heel, heel. Great job, just a little heel forward. Four more, three, two, let's go step together, step together, step together, good. Now we're gonna turn so the right shoulder's facing forward again. Now this combo's got a lot of moving parts. So if you get off and you start off on the wrong hand, don't worry about it, just keep going until you get the hang of it. Two more, hands up, the right hand's gonna jab out and in, right hand. So we're gonna go out, in, out and just like the first combo. So remember the top two knuckles are gonna lead the way. Your elbow is gonna come back into your rib cage. Great job. Now we're gonna go ahead and cross with the left hand cross. Cross, back, cross and back. Great job. Now you have the option to pivot and rotate if you want to. That's gonna help engage more of your core muscles, but if you find you're having trouble pivoting on carpet, you can make the rotation a little smaller. Totally up to you. Two more. Now we're gonna go ahead and hook with the right hand hook. Hook around. Now remember, this is our circular punch comes around, you want your arm parallel to the ground. So we don't wanna see the elbows down here. Get your elbow up, rotate. You have the option to pick up your front heel and pivot and rotate your hips. Great job. Two more, we're gonna put a combo together, jab, cross, and a hook. So it's a jab, cross, hook, and weight. Jab, cross, hook, Wait, nice job. Jab, cross, 
hook. So if you're having trouble with the punches, just punch right, left, right. That's always fine. So it's right, left, right. One more time. We're gonna take that pause out and make it a squat next time. Try it here. So it's a jab, cross, and a squat. Down, up, great job. So this has everything. You're gonna get your legs, your arms, shoulders, back. Big squat. Great job, we're gonna go again. Jab, cross, hook, squat. Remember on the squat, abdominals turned on. One more time through. We're gonna make another little change here. You have the option to make that squat a front knee. Knee, so it's a jab, cross, hook, knee. Jab, cross, the right knee is gonna come on up. You bring the knee up as high as you feel comfortable. So if you wanna keep it a little lower, you can keep it a little lower. As you bring your knee up, point your foot. Good, jab, cross, hook, knee, again. Abdominals are turned on. The rotation is optional here. Rotate as much or as little as you like. Great job. Didi, how you feeling? Good. Nice. Jab, cross, hook. Keep going here. A couple more times through. And up. Great job. Let's go two more. Jab, cross, hook, lift, jab, cross. Let's go back. Step and tap. Step, tap. Tap. Woo, shake out the arms. Ooh, that feels good. How you guys doing at home? Pretty good? Nice job. Keep the step and tap here. We're gonna go ahead and turn the step and tap so the left shoulder's facing forward, and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the left side, just like we've been doing all class. Hang out there with your step and tap. Great job. Let's bring the hands back up to the face. The left hand is gonna jab out and in. So it's out and in. Out. In, great job guys. Out, in. Let's go on with the cross. The cross is gonna be with the right hand. You're gonna cross and back, cross, back again. Great job, remember the option is to pick up the back foot pivot. If you don't want to pivot, you're going to minimize the rotation and just make it a little bit smaller because we want to protect your knees and your ankles. Keep going cross. Great job. Good. Now make sure the cross is coming all the way across the body. Top two knuckles are leading the way. And remember, you rotate or pivot as much as you feel comfortable. Let's go for two more. Now I'm gonna want you to hook with your left hand. Left hand's gonna hook. Hook and back. Great job. Remember the arm needs should be parallel to the ground. Almost like you're giving somebody that big old hug, but not quite because you're aiming with your fist. Hook around. Option, pivot and rotate your hips. Great job, we're gonna do a couple more of these for four more. Three, two, we're gonna put our combo back together, jab, cross, and a hook. So it's a jab, cross, hook, and weight. Jab, cross, hook, hold. Great job, this is a great exercise to work your shoulders and engage your oblique muscles with a little rotation. Now, if the rotation is too much, you don't need to rotate, or you can take your punches a little smaller. Completely up to you. Great job. And if the arms are throwing you off, just make sure you're punching left, right, left. A couple more times through here. Jab, cross, hook, and hold. One more time, just like this. And we're gonna add on a squat the next time on the end of the combo. All right, let's go again. 
jab, cross, hook with a squat. Good, jab, cross, hook, squat. For the squat, bend your knees. You sit back just like you're sitting in a chair. Abdominals are turned on and you lift your chest up. Jab, cross, hook, squat. Great job, guys. Dee Dee, how you doing? Excellent. Great. One more here. This is our final modification. You're going to add a knee with the front knee. Jab, cross, hook, knee. Jab, cross, hook, knee. Try pointing your foot as you pull the knee up. Great job. This one's a great combo to lift the heart rate. Lift, jab, cross, hook, up. Let's go four more times through. Lift, jab, cross, hook, and knee. Two more. Come on, last one. Let's go back to a step and tap to the right. Step, tap. Woo, shake out the arms. Oh, that oh. Good. Didi, how you doing? How's your heart rate up? Yes, absolutely. Great job. We're gonna go ahead and bring our heart rate down a little bit. Get ready for our cool down and our big stretch. So just stick with a nice light step and tap to bring the heart rate down nice and safe. Great job, little step and tap. Good, if you wanna continue shaking out your arms, go ahead, shake out the arms a little bit more. Great job, just here a little bit longer. Slowly bring that heart rate down. Go ahead, let's bring it into a march, right and left, march. Nice and light. Great job. If you want to pump your arms a little bit, that's fine, or you can keep them down by your side. Great job. Just bring your heart rate down nice and slow. Good. Nice light steps with your march. Great job. We're gonna go ahead and start cooling down with a little dynamic stretching. So go ahead, let's take our feet out nice and wide. We're gonna start with a little lunge to the right. Hold it here, up and over to the right side. Stretching out our inner thigh a little bit. All right, let's switch up and over to the left side. Hold it here. Good. You're going to sit your butt back. Again, like you're sitting in a chair, you should feel the stretch on the inside of your inner thigh. Great job. One more time, up and over to the right side. Hold. Support yourself on the upper part of your thigh, away from your kneecap. Good. Now switch one more time to the left side. Doesn't that feel great, Dee Dee? It does. And cooling down and... Flexibility work is really important. Absolutely. Great job, come on up. All right, let's shake out our legs a little bit. All right, you guys, go ahead. We're gonna grab a chair. All right, so we've got some chairs here, so you're gonna need some place where you can sit down and probably something to hold on to while we finish stretching out. So we're gonna start off with a hamstring stretch, and we're gonna show you from the side so you can get a better view of this. So you go ahead, stick your right leg out, sit back with all of your weight on the opposite leg, and your hands are gonna go on your supporting leg way away from your kneecap. And Dee Dee here is modified a little bit. She's put her hand on the back of the chair to help support her body weight. Feel free to do that too. All right, go ahead, switch legs, other leg out. Sit back. And again, make sure you support yourself on the standing leg. Hands are away from the kneecap. Great job, that feels great after all those kicks, doesn't that? Yes, it does. Oh. 
All right, you guys, come on around. You're gonna go grab the edge of a piece of furniture, maybe a chair, couch that you have. We're gonna do a quad stretch. So go ahead, pick up your right leg. So think about pushing your shoelaces into your hand to get a nice deep quad stretch in. If you wanna hit your hip flexor a little bit, you can lift your knee back a little bit if that feels comfortable. Nice job, let's switch sides. You're gonna come around, the left leg's gonna come up for the quad stretch. And again, think about keeping both knees together, shoelaces into your hand. All right, everybody, let's go ahead, and have a seat on a chair or a piece of furniture near you. We're gonna go ahead with a seated twist. So I want you to twist to the left first. You're gonna reach up and over. You're gonna bring your hand on the outside of your thigh and release any tension in your lower back. All right, let's switch sides. Up and over to the right side. Hand on the outside of your thigh, twist. Great job, come on back to the front. We're gonna go ahead with a shoulder stretch. So the right arm's gonna come across the body, up and hold, and you're gonna pull your arm into you. And let's switch sides. This feels great after Doesn't, all the punches. I know, all that shoulder work we did today. All right, let's go with a forearm stretch. You're gonna pull your fingertips back, palm faces up. And switch sides. So we're keeping our hands up by our face, working our biceps. So upper back release, you're gonna go palm to palm together and drop your chin down to your chest, opening up your upper back. Just hold here and breathe. And now thumbs up, you're gonna go open up the chest. Hands back, open up the shoulders and the chest muscles. Bring the hands down. We're gonna do a quick neck stretch. So I want you to drop your ear to the right side, all the way down to your shoulder. If you want to apply a little pressure on the top of your head, you can. All right, and we'll switch. Left ear to your shoulder and hold. And again, you've got the option to go ahead and pull down a little bit on your head if you want to. And that's it for today. Christine, thank you so much for joining us today. That was so fun. Great. Thank you for being here with us and thank yourself for being here and doing something so great just for you. We'll see you next time.